guys are back with the video, and now we're planning. Now, plan based. Okay. Let's go. But I don't know if I said I'm. I'm gonna try to go through like, through all of the seasons. I'm gonna go like through all of the games. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody okay. got it? Okay, yeah, let's Kenny, go. let's do this quiet. Silent but deadly. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. I think the people here got kind of got like a plague or something. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside fast! They, they probably knew this. Was, we we're gonna do this. Guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. But the drawings on, like how they drew the people, I got are a really bad good. feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Okay. Is this gonna be this interesting? Bitches. It's gonna have a trap. It's gonna be full of walkers. Figures. On our mind. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here.
Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just Crawford. makes sense, doesn't it? She's a, okay, she's a part of I'll make the run to the maintenance she, shed for the I, fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. Back before you know it. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Okay, so let's go join them. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get the battery. I don't like that noise. Oh, there she is. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? I'm coming. Is that where she went? This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Oh, why do I feel like Molly's gonna try to kill me? I feel like Molly's a part of Crawford. Molly, you out here? She knows Someone where her stuff is. That way. I don't trust Molly right now. Molly. Time to kill somebody. Let's go and kill Molly. If, cause she seems to know a little too much about Crawford. Fence. Auto shop must be down this way. Oh. This is the place I'm looking for. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Okay.
I'm ready to get ambushed. Where'd I go? I'm gonna go inside. Oh, I can't. Maybe be in there again. They're that way. See if I fall. Too close. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. you think you're doing it's dead already i think you can lay off don't tell me what to do you kill geeks your way i'll kill him mine damn he's wearing medical scrubs some kind of scientist or doctor maybe yeah well he ain't shit now <sighs> did you find us a way in yeah but the garage door's jammed. Uh, Can't I breathe. I thought she was about to kill me. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah. That'll work. Oh crap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, you don't stab him in the back. You hit him in the head. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. That blinking must be an anti theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car, if I can find a way to get up there. I can't reach it up there. Okay. No power. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? 
I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It's locked. No way in. Like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's still attached to the terminals. It's still attached to the terminals. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here, I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Why didn't you just kind of kick that down? Move your ass! Come on, let's go. Shoot it out! Oh. Okay. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! I don't know, man. We did it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God 
Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Feels like I'm gonna get jumped with no weapon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have my gun. Oh, you guys scared me. Okay. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Can't open it without the combination. What if you like most them backstab us? Little help! Little help here! each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Fix a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. You talking to Clem? You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. I do too. Really? I would have thought school would be the last thing you'd miss about all this. No, I liked it. Huh. What was your favorite subject? History? Well, what do you know? Mine too. What? Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know. I think so. I don't think anyone knows the answer to that, Clem. Maybe yeah. there's somebody out there working on a way to fix this. Some kind of cure, maybe. There's just no way to know. I hope so. I do too. That's good. You hold so on to that. So it can all be safe. It's the one thing none of this can take away. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Look, Ben, I really don't have time for this. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? 
Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. There'll come a time when he's so ready to let him die. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. But the one thing that he doesn't know, if you tell Kenny that you did it, he's gonna kill you. Oh yeah, and I, and I go and help with some meds. Yeah, open it. <laughs> what I have to do. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. One sec. What? Sorry, I, have to, I had to grab some food. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Okay. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Oh. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'm gonna try to shoot it open. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. 
What the hell happened here? Hey, Krista. Yeah? I've got things to do. Yeah, same here. I think it's around here. Oh, check on the armory. That might have something that we could use. these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Creepy. No power, no TV. So we have to probably turn on some the power. How are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Just a bunch of paste. So according to Bree, Fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? 
I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I'm actually going to go and try to open up the door. See if I can actually do it. Am I actually allowed to open it? I think I'm gonna have to oh. Can't reach it. It's too high up. I'm gonna find the power. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. He's the guy oh, that we killed. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. But he's also surrounded by walkers.
That scared me. Oh, that actually scared me. Wrong one. This is definitely the guy. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. How do I even get out? I'm just waiting for that door to buckle in. I found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. That's how they all fell. She went on a rampage. Did you know what happened to Crawford? More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. She's all probably right. pregnant. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. They're going to get cornered. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go.
What's that? Nothing. Uh, that's sure there's sister. nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. That's a pit. That's probably a picture of her sister. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit! Wasn't me. I'm going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Yeah. Come to have a good shot. What the fuck shot. is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. That's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip a skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta yeah. go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! You know Ben didn't mean any harm. He was just trying to help. And I'm supposed to give a crap about his good intentions? The boat's not big yeah. enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. Oh, crap. I messed up. I thought okay, what I was about gonna... the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> Holy crap. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. 
Come on, there's gotta be a way out down here. Not gonna hold. Back upstairs. And it's gonna be crappy upstairs. Lee, look. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, go, go, go! Okay, let's come go. on, let's go! to sacrifice himself. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Is he dead? Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh. Hey. Back already? Oh my god, you we thought we you were got dead. you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. 
What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me, she'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Go. 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 What's going on? Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Why does it look like Herschel? Like this is what our world I mean, is not... now, and we'd better just get used to it. Like that one guy. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to no. my people. No. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Yep. Well, guys, like and subscribe and share the video, and goodbye.